Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy A T. Now we back with a. This is damn near a live reaction, coach. Um, I don't know if everybody heard about this just yet. I think it happened like 30 minutes ago, 30, 40 minutes ago, probably a good hour at this point by the time I uploaded it. But James Harden is to the Nets. That's tough, coach. I was literally just, of course, last night the um, the Rockets played the Lakers. Now, before we even get into that, for all the ones who don't know, I'm a LeBron fan, you feel me? So I rocks with the Lakers. Of course, they won the championship last year, all that stuff. Um, but, of course, this season, KD, Kyrie teamed up to go to Brooklyn. Now, Kyrie, they were just talking about him dealing with some, like, issues, but uh, he hasn't played with the Nets for this past week. And they say he's not going to be back, I guess, until next week. Like, he's, it's a whole lot of going, or a whole lot of stuff going on with Kyrie right now. And they like, what's going on? You're leaving your team hanging, leaving KD hanging, all that. Out of nowhere, bro. The real real talk, I was in the bathroom. I'm scrolling on Twitter. I see Dinwiddie's trending, which Dinwiddie Spencer, Dinwiddie from Brooklyn. I see he's trending. I click on it. And they like, Spencer Dinwiddie seeing that like he didn't get traded or he wasn't included in the Harden trade. And I'm like... Trey, what the like? What the heck is y'all talking about, man? I've been, I was watching Undisputed earlier this morning. I'm like, I ain't heard nothing about him being traded. I go to CBS Sports. I'm about to pull that up for y'all right now. Matter of fact, we about to get this screen record going, big dog. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, my guy. We going to get y'all right. All right. All right, bro. Right here, you feel me? I got I got it right there for y'all. This is on the front page, of course. You feel me? Like this is the biggest news so far. Just yesterday, Harden was uh in a press conference talking about how he didn't think it could be or they had problems as far as chemistry. He said talent. And uh, matter of fact, let me pull that up for y'all. Why not? Harden post game interview. Robinhood is an investing app. Of course we're going to get hit with an ad, my nigga. How convenient is that? Are you surprised that Joe never made a run at all? I made a run at all in this one? Which is not good enough. Um, you know, we just, we don't, we don't, uh, obviously chemistry, talent, uh, it's just everything. And it was clear, um, like I said, these last few games. The fact he said chemistry, talent-wise, I'm like, y'all just got John Wall. My of course, John Wall ain't in his prime, but it's like, damn, my nigga, you going to trash the whole team? Talent-wise, that's literally saying my team is not good enough. Not like we can get better, like we're not good enough, my nigga. I can't, like, we can't do anything yet. And they were asking John Wall about all this, too. Um, I, I saw his post-game interview earlier this afternoon, and he was basically like, Kind of saying no comment to a good amount of the questions, but he still answered some of them. And he was like him and because they asked how was him and Harden's chemistry and stuff like that on the the court. He was like, you know, I mean, it's been a little rocky, but he still felt like Harden came out there and was giving his like all as far as on the actual court. You feel me? But either way, let's finish this off. We're going from, from the beginning of the game. It was just aggressive, uh, veteran team, obviously uh, championship team, and um, you know one of the best teams that we have in this league. Um, you know, I love this city. Um, I literally, you know, have done everything that I can. Um, you know, I mean, this situation is, is, is crazy. You know, it's something that I don't think can be fixed. So, um, this situation is crazy. I don't think it's something that can be fixed. That's tough. That's tough, coach. Yeah. Okay, put it down. What are you talking about? You looking at, bro, either way. I don't even know who the heck he got or who he got traded for. All I know is Dinwiddie didn't get included. Are you going to close the door? It's fake. It's fake news, bro. My brother in the back. This man bust his leg on. Get the <laughs> Either way, bro. I don't know exactly who he got traded for. Rockets send all-star to Nets in four-team deal, include, including the Cavaliers and the Pacers. So it was the Rockets, Nets, Cavs, Pacers. When trades be going down like that, it'd be a lot going on. But either way, we about to read all this right now. James Harden is getting the trade he wanted. Because he did say he wanted to go to Brooklyn and then he added other teams afterwards. But he got what he wanted. The Houston Rockets are sending their former MVP to Brooklyn in a massive blockbuster deal that includes four teams and multiple star players. 
According to Woj, here is the here's what the deal looks like in full. The Rockets get Victor Oladipo. So he's coming from the Pacers. They get Victor Oladipo. Rodion's Kuruks, never heard of him before. Dante Exum, that name sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know who that is. Four unprotected first round picks from Brook. Three from, from Brooklyn for next season, 2022, 2024, and 2026. So all two years apart. And then a, another first round in 2022 from Milwaukee. Damn, I know y'all got four players. What? How many picks did they get? My man, you got three players, Victor Oladipo, the Rodion's guy, and Dante Exum. Four unprotected draft picks, or unprotected first round picks. And four unprotected first round pick swaps. God dog, my nigga. So y'all got eight first round picks, even though they are, they are unprotected, but four of them is first round pick swaps what's the what does that even mean do they get they get to swap with somebody or it's already a swap pick like somebody enlighten me on that down below the nets get james harden that's it but it's james harden pacers get karis lavert didn't they then what he is the the guy hold on karis lavert nigga how many points was he scoring was that is that the guy with the afro or is that Nah, but I still think Lavert was the uh, guy who was going crazy in the in the bubble for them last year or towards the uh, the end of the season. I think Spencer did Dinwiddie is the guy with the afro. Is he? Well, he had an afro at least in this one picture. But he got a shortcut. I don't know, man. Either way, they still kept Dinwiddie. It is what it is. Cavaliers get Jared Allen and Torian Prince. Why did the Cavs even need to be in this? I'm not understanding. What did they did they give up something? But either way, the Nets get hard. We see that. Harden has been pushing for a trade. Of course, he played with. All right, we don't need to read all the rest of that, bro. That's all we need for the screen recording. We out of here. Um, that's wild, though, bro. Like I said, I was I did not see this coming. I was just scrolling on Twitter, went to the trending, and this. It pop right. I'm like, my nigga, what? What? Now this is gonna be tough though. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a dope ass season, bro. I'm ready to see how it's gonna go. I'm not sure if they're gonna go into the whole bubble thing once playoff time come. I know they're not having an all-star game and all that. But I'm not sure how they're gonna do it come playoff time. But I, I wanted to see Kyrie versus Kate or Ky, Kyrie and KD versus LeBron and A D in the finals. So the Lakers versus Nets in the finals. They got James Harden now, so that's basically a three-headed monster. You feel me? Like, that's tough. That That's going to be tough. But I feel like we still going to be able to go crazy, bro. But it is dope the fact James Harden got the team up again with KD. Um, I'm ready to see how the season about to shake out, though, bro. The Nets have to make it to the finals. If they don't, this is obviously a wasted season. They, I mean, did they... They gave up a lot, though. Like, y'all gave up hella trade or hella first-round picks. You feel me? How do you like who do y'all think won in this? I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know who y'all thought won this actual trade. Really, the Rockets, I mean, they didn't get a star star, but I mean you got Victor Oladipo, that's the closest thing to a star. And then you got eight round eight first round picks. Or at least four unprotected first round picks, four unprotected first round pick swaps. Like I said, somebody let me know what the difference is in that. Like the actual pick swaps, what is that supposed to? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is wild, bro. Like I said, breaking news. That's tough. The Nets gotta make it to the finals. I'm expecting it to be the Nets versus the Lakers. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm a Bron fan, so I'm expecting them to go crazy, bro. Feel me? I know you still got the Clippers, uh, the Rockets. Say goodbye. I don't think they, I don't think they doing nothing at this point. You feel me? I mean. They might be teetering for a, eight, a seventh, eight round playoff or a seventh or eighth spot for the playoffs. Besides that, I don't see them doing too much. You feel me? Um, 
This is wild, though, bro. I did not expect this nigga to just get traded to the Nets just like that. Like, I'm thinking they're going to at least go to, like, get him somewhere else but get a whole bunch of picks for him. But y'all just, to the Nets, you got eight first-round picks, three players. The Cavaliers was in it, got two players. The Pacers give up all the depot and got, who the heck did they get? Did the Pacers get anybody? Yeah, Karis LeVert. Bro, that's tough. That's tough, bro. But that's all I got to say. Y'all know. Hey, and I haven't done any reactions to the Lakers games or anything just yet. Um, I really don't even know why. You feel me? Like I've been watching some of the highlights, but I just haven't done any uh, any reactions to the games. I might wait a couple weeks and wait until they start getting into the actual groove of things, because it's only been like ten games so far. So, um, y'all wait on that. If the Lakers are playing Brooklyn this season, you best believe I'm coming. <laughs> You best believe we checking that out. You feel me? You best believe that, my guy. Hold on. Let me let me check the schedule real quick. Because I think they actually do play. They play the Nets on February 18th. Y'all best believe we coming with that reaction. So stay tuned for that. I mean, that's, that, damn, that's literally a full month from now. But you best believe we checking that one out. You feel me? Either way, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know y'all thoughts on this. Like I said, this is wild. Breaking news. That's that's crazy, bro. I ain't got too much else to say. Me on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.